Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. It's Cynic Alex, and we finally got the first sneak peek for the upcoming April update. Fun fact, the second video that I'm going to release today that you're going to see later on was actually the video that I originally recorded between 10 p.m. and 11 p.m. when I was sad and I thought there was no sneak peek. So it's pretty funny. Anywho, let's jump into it. There is news that Stark Industries, Stark Industries, 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 is introducing a new project in San Francisco that uses his technology and capital to improve the world. This global upgrade comes along with a new suit made of silver liquid that is attracting great interest. Okay, Tony the Tiger, I'm very excited. The superior look. Iron Man is ready to go with his new look. Let us know whether the world can handle his new suit or not. Now get your underwear changed if you are not ready for this. Let's go over to Twitter and see Stark is ready to release his latest gift to the world, but is the world ready for the superior Iron Man? So this is the sneak peek here. Let me hit the loop. Here we go. It's a really good sneak peek. Very high quality. We're going to talk about it. Don't worry. We're going to talk about it. Don't worry. Boom. There we go. There we go. Extremis 3.0. So first things first. Extremis. There is another uniform for Iron Man called the Extremis suit, which is yellow and red and it has a lot of sharp angles. This is not the uniform. This is not Extremis Iron Man. This is Superior Iron Man. So that's sort of the first piece of information that's a little bit confusing. Superior Iron Man, and I'm going to explain it, the comics, it's a bit of a spoiler from 2014 to 2015. Superior Iron Man is a version of Iron Man, is a version of Tony Stark that is different. For those of you wondering, he is a villain in this series. Now, this series was very, very short-lived. It was only about nine issues long in total. There was a, some crossover issues and stuff like that, but it was very, very short. And it basically was after the events of Axis. And the events of Axis in the Marvel Universe, it inverted a lot of characters and a lot of superheroes and supervillains' personalities. So bad guys became good guys and good guys became bad guys. Now, they didn't become bad guys. They just would adopt the worst parts of their personality or adopt the best parts of their personality. And Iron Man is generally a hero. He's done a ton of heroic things in his career as, as a hero, spanning so many lives and deaths and reboots. But we all know that Iron Man is kind of a complicated hero, right? And sometimes he does things, he makes projects like Ultron that end up being really, really bad. And so Superior Iron Man is kind of a play on that. And essentially, he ditches his morality and he ditches his sort of the questioning conscious in the back of his mind like well is this actually going to be better for people or worse and he sort of becomes like a black mirror black mirror-esque tony stark if you haven't seen black mirror amazing uh series and so he basically just starts creating all this stuff this this superior iron man he starts creating all this technology to help people but also to make himself richer to make himself more powerful stronger etc and one of the things he makes is this brand new uniform that we're going to be getting in Marvel Future Fight for the six-year anniversary, the Superior Iron Man uniform. So the Superior Iron Man uniform, you've probably seen it before. It's this white and blue combo, and it's actually made partially or it's designed partially around um, symbiotes. So that's why it has this liquid form, and you can actually see it in the sneak peek, which is why they did such a good job. The table is actually being covered by the extremist, by the, not the extremist armor, sorry, the endosin armor this this superior iron man armor which he calls endosin armor uh, but it's here and then it moves you, you see it literally moves off the table like eddie brock's symbiote and it goes down you can see it down there on the floor it's that silver puddle and it goes up to tony and it attaches to his body so he will later on have other suits of armor that you've seen in comics and stuff like extremis where it, they're sort of like nano uh, technology that just covers the skin instantaneously. This was sort of an early, I believe it was an earlier prototype, or maybe it was a later prototype. Anyways, I don't know the uh, exact um, timeline on when these were made, but if you look up Superior Iron Man, this is what it looks like. So this is the uniform we're going to be getting for Tony Stark. You've probably seen it before. And in this run, he is a villain. In, 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 the, most, in the most simplistic terms, he's a villain. He does, he does bad things. He creates this app, which is where you see in the sneak peek, this Extremis 3.0. They're just basically referencing the comics here with this app. The app is a one day free trial and it essentially, you know, helps people become healthier, smarter, stronger, more beautiful. I don't know. I don't exactly remember the details of, of how it does that, but it's basically an app that helps whatever. 
And then um, after the free trial period is over, you have to pay $100 a day for renewal. Now, this obviously extends itself to some pretty hilarious MFF memes like pay $99 to access the game daily, right? Your daily login cost. Um, but this is not supposed to be for the game. This is just referencing what happens in the comics. And this is one of the ways that Tony um, in increases his own personal wealth by introducing this extremist package and people want it and then they can't afford it. So then what actually happens in the comics, for those of you wondering, is people resort to crime. They resort to committing crimes, robbery, etc., to try to make money to pay for extremists because they don't want to go back to being less smart, less pretty, etc., right? And then of course, Tony responds to the crime by creating more controlling aspects uh, in society to sort of look after those people. So he actually creates Iron Sight, which is a bunch of drones that look like these blue eyes with silver wings. Um, and uh, they just fly around observing people, sort of like Big Brother, uh, and, and watching for crimes that are happening, sort of in part because of, so basically he creates a problem and then he creates a solution for his problem which actually just ends up creating more problems. It's the classic Iron Man sort of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, duality. But anyways, this is what the armor looks like. This is what the uniform looks like. Again, it's a symbiote-esque armor. It's very, very cool. It looks very, very awesome. We've seen it in other uh, games and it's in Contest of Champions as well. They actually just introduced the superior Iron Man uniform in Marvel's Avengers. So if you play that game and you've been keeping up to date with the updates, you're very, very familiar. The one that they introduced there, he, his mask is off and he's just wearing the armor there but yeah this is the extremist armor or sorry this is the endosin armor in that superior iron man run uh that he uses but yeah he's basically um he's a villain so yeah we're getting new we're getting a new uniform for iron man and he's going to be uh presumably if they if they stick with the with the comics he's going to be a villain uh he actually he fights uh daredevil at one point he fights himself at one point as well um, he wipes Daredevil's memory temporarily. He, he does some pretty bad things, but then he gets beaten up at the end by Captain America. So for those of you wondering, it doesn't end well for Iron Man. He gets beat up by Cap, and then they both get sucked into Secret Wars, which I think was like 2015 or something, or 16. But yeah, basically, that's what happens. It's a pretty short run. Um, I don't know if Superior Iron Man makes other um, appearances, but yeah. So brand new uniform for Iron Man. Presumably, I don't know, what is this? An Iron Legion, Iron Armor, Armor Wars? I don't know what this update is, but it's starting with Iron Man, which is actually really great for two main reasons. So one, we're getting a brand new uniform for a classic iconic character, Iron Man. Yes, he has a lot of uniforms, but for the most part, they've been absolute duds. Iron Man is one of the few characters who has gotten a ton of uniforms and most of them have sucked. So although other characters deserve uniforms more, I also really want him to get the treatment that other characters have gotten recently. You know, Gambit, Cable, Rogue, you know, all these characters. I just named three mutants, but you, you get what I'm saying. The Defenders, right? Like these kinds of upgrades that we've been seeing the last year plus have been amazing. So I just really want that level of upgrade for Iron Man. Because honestly, if he gets that level of upgrade, like if he gets an upgrade on par with like Luke Cage's upgrade or, or Daredevil's upgrade, this will be the first time that Iron Man is actually legitimately strong even at the height of his power when he got his endgame uniform where he literally has the gauntlet and he literally snaps he still wasn't that good he was a lot better than he, than he had ever been but they literally changed him top to bottom they gave him a brand new tier 3 skill and he still wasn't the best so i know some people are going to complain that he's gotten a lot of uniforms but man iron man has 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 still deserved and does still deserve a really strong uniform that's the first thing that i'm excited about the second thing i'm excited about is iron man's free if you don't have tier 3 iron man and why would you have tier 3 iron man if if you haven't been playing this game for a long time because he's been pretty bad like i just said you weren't even thinking about iron man on your radar and if you go back to my tier 3 selector guide video i wasn't even considering iron man he was like bottom two or bottom three on my list because no one foresaw this update coming, right? Superior Iron Man is 100% out of left field, right? We were thinking WandaVision, we were thinking something else, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, right? There's, there's a bunch of different options, but not Iron Man Superior. Like, how many people had that on their bingo card, right? So, this is really good. I would strongly recommend, again, you can't choose your Tier 3 yet for the Tier 3 selector because it doesn't come uh, to the game uh, until the 28th, but I think this is a really good choice by the devs because they're essentially reworking a character that is on that list, 
which is really, really cool. I really like that. So for those of you that were going to use your tier three selector on another character, but you like the idea of a blast villain Iron Man, just hold on to your tier three selector. The update should come out before we get the tier three selector. So you don't actually have to worry about you know choosing before it's there but yeah just wait for myself and other content creators to make videos about superior iron man uniform when he comes out hopefully they rework iron man enough right i mean it could still be a dud it's a possibility but they haven't missed with the uniform since nightcrawler and iron man's a lot more popular than nightcrawler so we'll have to wait and see but yeah the update should be landing Seeing that, seeing as we're getting sneak peeks now, we should be getting the update on the 20 slash 21st, which means you're still going to have a week after the update lands before you get that tier three selector. And so you have ample time to either buy the uniform and test it yourself, test the uniform yourself in the skill preview for free, or like I said, watch content creator videos and find out. But I think it's a really awesome thing. And I, I strongly would I would strongly suggest the devs do this again in the future if they're going to give away a transcended selector or they're going to give away a tier three selector try to work in one of the characters especially because these selectors are going to get bigger and bigger right there's like you know 16 different tier threes on the list right the chances of you reworking one of them is pretty high it's a really really nice plus and it actually makes me even more excited for the six year anniversary it makes me more excited for the tier three selector I can't even use the tier three selector on Iron Man I'm just really excited if Iron Man gets a really dope upgrade if, if Superior Iron Man turns him into this insanely powerful blast villain, other people are going to be able to, to unlock him tier three, max him out, you know, right away, and then grab that uniform and start running around with their own Superior Iron Man. So that, that really excites me that you guys have that possibility. I'll obviously be picking up the uniform day one um, because I do like Iron Man. He's just never been quite strong enough to warrant heavy usage. Um, but yeah, we'll have to wait and see uh, just how strong he becomes. And what, what else this update could be? Like, I honestly don't know. Are we going to see a War Machine uh, rework? I, like, I honestly, your guess is as good as mine for what this update could be. Hit me up in the comments down below. We're obviously not going to get another Daredevil uniform. I, I did say Daredevil is one of the characters in the Superior Iron Man run. He is, but he's got his classic red. He's got like this uniform, basically. They're not going to give Daredevil another uniform uh, month over month. That would be bizarre. And there's really not any notable characters. Pepper Potts uh, sends another version of Iron Man, like an Iron Man suit. She sends a, she sends an Iron Man suit to attack Tony when he's Superior Iron Man, um, because it was a contingent contingency plan in case he ever went, you know, evil. So yeah, we're not gonna get another Iron Man. That'd be weird. I have no idea what this update could be. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of what the update could be. I, I, I need your advice. I need your uh, opinions here. We need to brainstorm. And then what your uh, opinion is on Superior Iron Man turning into a blast villain, most likely. And uh, if his power level is going to match recently reworked characters like Rogue, Luke Cage, and Daredevil. Hit me up in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. I am quite excited. Uh, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.